Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Jezri Internet. Today we're going to be playing a game, it's called the Skin Deep Couples Edition. I don't know if you guys have heard of this award winning uh, series on YouTube, but we thought it'd be cool to try it out. They have so many different versions like ex edition, parents edition, co-workers edition, stranger edition, all kinds of editions. So we're going to try this one. So let's jump into it. And if you like it, just wait, um, just look down below. I have a, a link for you to get some percentage off. Okay, so the rules of the game are you're supposed to sit a foot apart from somebody. A foot apart from each other. You're supposed to pick 12 cards at random, yeah. and we're supposed to openly and honestly answer the questions. Mm, yeah. Ready? So, let's begin. What does my love feel like? <laughs> what does your love feel like? Yeah, what does my love feel like? Your love is very interesting. It's complicated at times. <laughs> because so you go through these, you know, weird emotions and you know you know it's hard sometimes it's hard to figure out what your love is sometimes or what your love language is sometimes, but your love I'm since we've been together so long, I believe your love for you know is what's the word? I don't know. What does my love feel like? I'm able to understand your love. So for me, is your love is warm. <laughs> your love is kind. Does it feel like it, it feels, feels warm? It feels warm, you know. Okay. Because I understand you, so it's easy. To get that love from you, even though you know you be having these weird swings, mood swings sometimes. So. Accurate. Yeah. Do you think we'll still be this close in fifteen years? Why or why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. Okay, the answer is yes. Fifteen years. It's interesting that they chose fifteen years yeah, like, yeah. because um, the, was it last month? Last month we celebrated our fifteenth anniversary. So we've been together for 15 years, which well, is so marriage, strange. Well, not but... Together, together. together. 15 yeah. years. Wow. 30 years. Another okay, so the question is, what again? Let me pay attention. Do you think we'll be together for another 15? Or be this close in 15 years? Why or why not? I do not think we'll be this close. I think we'll be closer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because we've gone through so many changes in the last 15 years, we've basically yeah. grown up together that it's only going to get more yeah. interesting, more complex, yeah. more solid. We're trying to move up another level because we're at a level right now. We're just trying to put everything together. But I know in the next 15 years, we'll be at another, a higher level. Mandem answered his own question. Okay, my turn. <clears throat> In what ways do my friends reflect who I am? Think on that. Which friends? Oh. <laughs> I, I was just like, I was just <laughs> You trying to play um, me. I have friends, Jez. Let me read it again. Yeah, read it one more time. Okay. In what ways do my friends reflect who I am? Um, your friends... Speaking of, yeah, your friends are pretty much straight up. Um, you guys don't really hide anything from each other. Um, you're able to, you guys are able to talk to each other, like you know, about basically about anything. Um, you guys tell it like it is, basically. So with you, imagine you, your personality mixed with theirs, and you guys are all together in the same room. Like hot fire. You already know. <laughs> if you say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, they'll just all get at you. So that's that's how your friends are. Your friends reflect you. Yeah, you're who friends. I am. Yeah, yeah. your friend. Yeah, you're basically like you. I guess you chose friends that are like you, or okay. yeah, some of my friends that were like you stayed with you because they're similar. You got the similar. Have some ideas. Yeah. Okay. Do you really feel that you are pushing yourself hard enough, or are you settling? That is the worst question to ask me. Are you kidding? Okay, guys, I'm going through a, a crisis right now. We have a three-week-old. 
baby and a three year old. Talk to me, not baby. Okay, I'm stuck to you. Okay. What? If okay, ask me again. Let me Do you feel do you really feel that you are pushing yourself hard enough? Or are you settling? Neither. I think I'm pushing myself too hard. I think uh, I've, I've, I've always been a go-getter, you know that. And I'm always like going way too fast, hardly ever slowing down. And anytime I have to slow down, it's like a big deal for me. And I, I'm neither. Sometimes I just need to just take a break and just relax. Like right yeah. now, my job or what I'm supposed to be doing is mothering. And here I'm think, talking to you about the next business um, that I'm going to do or going back to work or, or we got to go um, do some more financial planning. We got to do this. We got to do that. When really I just should just relax. Yeah. Well, I guess you are working, you know, pushing yourself hard because you, before you got sick or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, you were really pushing yourself hard. So you really needed that break when they said you have to go on bed rest and stuff like that. So I feel like that kind of slowed you down uh -huh. so you could get some rest and get back to me. You think it was a good thing to be yes, put on bed rest? it was good. It was a good thing. Because I'm going too fast. Yeah, you have to slow down sometimes. But things got to get done. Yeah, if things, yeah. if I don't do them, who's going to do them? You things got to get done. You have a whole life. I guess. Uh, Maybe you're right. What do you think I question about myself? If I'm doing a good job or with what? In life. Or if I'm gonna be successful anytime soon. <laughs> but I mean you are successful, but I guess you wanna be real successful whereas you don't have to think about money. You wanna have to you know, you can relax and not think about anything else in life and you could just travel and explore the world. I think so. <laughs> Are you concerned that my body will change over time? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I mean last summer you got fat. <laughs> and that was hilarious. Oh, uh, I'm not concerned. Yeah, concerned. I'm not concerned. Sometimes I feel concerned, but then at the same time, I feel like, you know, I'm about to start eating more healthy. And, and exercise? Okay. Plus, the parts I love about your body the most are not going to change much anyway, so we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which one of my friends don't you trust? Now I'm thinking. <laughs> None. I don't keep friends that I can't trust. Them, but, yeah, and if I didn't trust them, I would have told you from a long time ago. Yeah. None. All your friends are fine. They're cool. I don't have a problem with them. Where do you see us in 10 years? In 10 years, I see us traveling um i see us um not working <laughs> yes. have residual income coming in um you know have our house our family and just living life you know until the end am i allowed to answer these questions too i don't know if you want to put your input in it oh. Yo, I'm gonna be living in Bali or Costa Rica. I'm not gonna be in North America. I'm North America's for the birds. I'm not trying to stay here like that. Oh, that's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna be here. And yeah, I hear you on the residual income and having multiple streams. We already have multiple streams, but be more, you know, in the pocket doing what we want to do. Because how are we gonna be? 42? Yeah. Um, 42. Maybe, mm -mm, it's not gonna feel old once you're actually 42. Remember, 32 was old? It's not gonna be that. It's going to come quick. 10 years is going to go by like that. You're going to have, ah, oh, a teenager. Ew. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's going to be fine. But I definitely see us together, but not here. Not here at all.
If I had the opportunity to work in another country, would you come with me? Hell yes! Let's go today! <laughs> Let's go tonight! Book the ticket now! Out of America! Why are we still here? You have to finish that! Yes! Yeah. Who's offering you the job? What is the package? What are they doing? At this point, I don't want to work for nobody. <laughs> I know, but like, I'm, I'm down with leaving. I'm down with leaving. But you already knew that. I said that in my vows, didn't I? Yeah. Wherever you go, I'll go. <laughs> you remember? Whenever you die, I'll <laughs> Bars. <laughs> okay. What do you think is the next step in our relationship? Um, I think the next step for us would be um, taking it up a notch because you know we did the marriage thing had the kids i think now we need to go back to square one and you know spend more time together and cherish you know the moments we have together because you know they don't last forever so i feel like the next phase you know there's levels to it so i feel like the next phase for us would be you know doing what we like to do and not what anyone else likes to do you mean like individualism within a relationship? Not individual. Well, no, together. More okay. together. Because, you know, with kids and all that other stuff, work and stuff like that, you know, we sometimes tend to not spend the time we used to back when we were just dating. Yeah. And so now I feel like it's now's the time to come back together again. Okay. All right. My turn. You just asked the question. Oh, no, I forget. How do you think having children would or has affected our relationship? Are these questions seem like they, <laughs> like they go like a timeline. Like. <laughs> I have to add to that. How do I feel children have affected our relationship? I guess you don't, you don't want to. This is a long one. <laughs> this is a long sure. one. Okay, which child? Okay, child number one. We already know this, but I guess nobody else knows this. We got pregnant for the first time when we were, what, 28 years old or something? And I didn't want to have the baby. And we went through like a, I don't want to call it a rough patch because that was way more than a rough patch. We were like roommates. We just happened to sleep in the same bed. We didn't talk to each other. We didn't, and we didn't do anything together. Anytime there was communication, you were just yelling at me which was very uncharacteristic of you because you've always been kind of like more calm and jovial but you were just mad and you didn't never want to talk about anything and all i did was basically cry because yeah. i i didn't want to have the baby but i also i didn't really want to have an abortion because i just felt like it wasn't fair to you because i know i knew you wanted to have the baby but i didn't want to have the baby at all mm -hmm. and it was it was rough and then i was going through um prenatal depression but basically by myself because although like you're my best friend or one of my best friends you weren't there physically or emotionally or nothing you weren't there and i fell out of love with you and i told you that and i was ready to leave and the only reason i didn't leave is because i was in school and i wasn't working so i didn't have <laughs> It's not why well, what this <laughs> laugh is this a nervous you, laugh? The way you said that though, that was weird to me. Okay. okay. So, like, what kind of laugh was that though? Um, like a, you didn't have you couldn't leave because you didn't have nowhere to go. So. No, I had places to go. I okay. just didn't have a capital. I just I'm not trying to leave with a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks. I'm leaving and I'm not coming back. That's how I felt. But um yeah, so how have children affected our relationship? That was me being pregnant with our first child and me not wanting any anything to do with the pregnancy, the baby, or you. And then I had the baby and things did not get better. They just were kind of the same. And then, I don't know, how old is she? Almost a year? I don't know. We finally were able to talk. Well, when I say we, you actually opened up. And what did you say? Do you remember? I forgot. Okay, well, you apologize. <clears throat> and when we were talking, 
and found out <clears throat> I need some water. <coughs> Chill, I'm not crying. <coughs> it's just really dry in here. How's the air <clears throat> that you felt like I didn't love you anymore because I didn't want your child? And by me doing that, you felt like I rejected you. So then you closed up and you didn't. Basically, why anything to do with me? Because I didn't want to have your child. But you didn't know how to vocalize that. So you did that like a year and a half after <clears throat> I got pregnant. So um, children change our relationship by making it more. What's the word? Serious, more complex, more just opening up wounds we might not have known that we had yeah different i guess experiences and just learning as we go along i guess yeah because i never wanted children and i always yeah. told you that and you always did you not believe me i mean I, uh, you didn't want to get married right <laughs> <laughs> you have jokes okay okay i didn't want to get married yeah i thought that was dumb but i got married so you just thought it was one of those like oh she doesn't want to but if she did she'd be fine yeah? yeah don't let me put words in no, your no, mouth that's what, that's, uh, yeah. okay. all right and then um do you think we've gotten closer though with having children like yeah like you and i yeah. we um yeah you can say that yeah, they have. it's more of a bond now more like a family unit so like anytime our daughters come up and say anything it's just like you know we're just experiencing life together, basically. Yeah, that's true. So whenever she comes and says anything, we're like, or does you anything know that? You? That, yeah. that is surprising for both of us at the same time. So. Yeah. All right. I think it's also changed our relationship dynamics because, like you said before, it used to be just us when we're dating or when we're married or when we're just friends, whenever it was just us. And then you have one child and then the child needs attention. And then you have another one, and then you're like, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just too much. It's too much. So it, let, it, it helped me, I think, to be more patient in our relationship. Our relationship, I became more patient having children. This is a good game. It's not. <laughs>